the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine has yet to subside. One factor fueling the conflict is the use of advanced technology, which has allowed for minimizing casualties while maximizing destructive power and range against the enemy. An example of this is the development of drone technology. Although Russia is still behind Western countries in drone development, their continuous efforts and innovations have pushed their drone program to the forefront of technological advancement. For instance, Russia has a number of kamikaze or suicide drones which operate by crashing into targets. One such is uh, the Zala KYB strike drone, designed by Russia for long-range land and sea targets operated by the Russian army. What are the advantages of this drone? The KYB is touted as the future evolution of drones, cost-effective with high precision and stealthy operation. The KYB can reach speeds of up to 79.5 miles per hour and can stay airborne for up to 30 minutes. Following the success of the KYB, Zala Aero Group further developed its kamikaze drones, resulting in the Zala Lancet. The Lancet's capabilities are twice that of the KYB, with speeds up to 186.4 miles per hour, a range of 24.9 miles, and can carry a payload of up to 26.5 pounds. Russia also uses the Jaren type drone in the war, better known as the Shahid-136. This is indeed the best drone made by Iran incorporated into Russian service but then repainted and adapted to the needs of the Russian terrain. Technically, the Jaran is designed for mass attacks with a flying range of 124.3 miles, speeds of up to 115 miles per hour, and capable of carrying an 88.2 pound payload. This drone has been successful in spreading terror in Ukraine for a while. Amid the escalating warfare, Russia is also developing the Bas-80 folding wing kamikaze drone similar in design to the American-made switchblade drone. It can reach ranges of up to 18.6 miles, speeds of 74.6 miles per hour, a maximum altitude of 656.2 feet, and can carry a payload of up to 4.4 pounds. The latest development in kamikaze drones is the Isdalia 53, which has the capability to differentiate various types of targets. This drone began its testing phase in October 2023 and is described as another improved version of the Lancet, but with a smaller payload, carrying between 6.6 .6 to 11 pounds of explosives. On the battlefield, the Isdelia 53 has significantly altered the dynamics of the conflict, having a substantial impact. Sukhoi and Russian aircraft corporation MiG, companies renowned for their manned fighter jets, surprisingly started developing a sixth-generation stealth specification drone. The project is named Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik B. This drone is based on the Mikoyan SCAT and incorporates several stealth fighter jet technologies from the Sukhoi Su-57, with an appearance similar to the American B-2 Spirit. The S-70's primary roles are reconnaissance and heavy attack. Officially, this project has been under development since 2011, with the first prototype completed in 2014. It is 45.9 feet long, with a wingspan of 65.6 feet and weighs around 20 tons. The S-70 features a wing design made of composite materials and a stealth coating, making it difficult to detect by conventional radar. In terms of performance, the S-70 has a maximum speed of 621.4 miles per hour and a combat range of 1,864.1 miles. It has also undergone weapon testing, including free-fall bombs and precision-guided munitions. Reports indicate that the S-70 is set to enter mass production in 2024. For reconnaissance and attack missions, Russia is developing the Kronstadt Orion. This is a family of unmanned aerial vehicles developed by the Kronstadt Group. The Orion began development in 2011 with its initial design appearing and being introduced in 2013. Regarding performance, information is limited. The Orion is said to be able to carry a payload of up to 440.9 pounds. It is claimed to have a maximum speed of 124.3 miles per hour, a range of 894.8 miles, a 24-hour endurance, and can carry a maximum payload of 551.2 pounds. Another variant of the Orion is the Sirius, an upgraded model with a larger design. 
the main difference is the twin engines used in the Sirius. This drone has a length of 29.5 feet, a wingspan of 98.4 feet, and a height of 10.8 feet. Due to its larger design, the Sirius can carry a maximum combat load of 992 pounds. In terms of speed, the Sirius has a cruising speed of up to 183.3 miles per hour, a maximum altitude of 39,370 feet and can stay airborne for up to 40 hours. Apart from the Orion family, Russia also has the Corsair for reconnaissance, attack, and electronic warfare missions. Its design is similar to the American RQ-7 Shadow and the Turkish Bayraktar TB2. In terms of performance, the Corsair has a maximum speed of 93.2 miles per hour, a range of 155.3 miles, and can stay airborne for up to 12 hours. Regarding armaments, in addition to being able to be equipped with smart missiles, the Corsair can also carry conventional bombs, including anti-tank missiles. The Corsair is designed to eliminate light armored vehicles, combat positions, and enemy infantry groups within a 124.3 mile radius of the drone operator. For reconnaissance aircraft, Russia, through the Special Technology Center, has developed the Orland 10. This drone can be used for reconnaissance missions at altitudes of 0.6 to 0.9 miles, search and rescue, radio signal detection, targeting, and combat training. The Orlin is also equipped with electronic warfare capabilities and can differentiate between enemy and friendly transmission sources. When in operation, these drones are typically deployed in groups consisting of two or three drones. The first is used for reconnaissance, the second for data warfare, and the third for data transmission. Regarding capabilities, the Orlan has an airspeed of between 55.9 to 93.2 miles per hour and can stay airborne for approximately 18 hours. For smaller scale operations, Russia has the Kalashnikov Takyon or Takyon, classified as a mini UAV. In terms of flying capability, the Takion has an operational range of up to 24.9 miles and can fly at altitudes nearing 13,123 feet. Besides reconnaissance, the drone can function as an aerial cell relay for ground communication sources at low altitudes, thus enhancing its versatility in the field. Though Russia has been relatively slow in adopting large-scale drones for military and civilian use, the gap is narrowing with each decade. Russia has also developed a helicopter drone for the commercial market, named the VRT-300. There are two versions built with the advantage of being able to operate in all weather conditions, including extreme ones. The VRT-300 can assist ships in coordinating surrounding conditions, and impressively, the equipment carried by the VRT-300 can measure every thickness that the ship will pass through. In terms of performance, the VRT-300 has a flight speed of up to 111.8 miles per hour. Its operational radius is up to 93.2 miles, or a flight duration of up to 5 hours. Kamov, a longtime player in helicopter manufacturing, has also developed its own drone version of a helicopter, named the Kamov Co-175. This helicopter is designed for various roles, including reconnaissance, patrol, police and ecological operations, emergency response, and data transmission. There is not much information about the drone, even though it was introduced in 2014. However, in terms of capabilities, it is claimed that the Ki-175 has a range of 329.3 miles with a speed of 108.7 miles per hour and can stay airborne for four hours. For amphibious military drones, Russia has the Rostec Kirok. This is Russia's first drone capable of landing on any terrain. The aircraft has a wingspan of 32.8 feet and a maximum takeoff weight of 1,543 pounds. The Kirok can fly at altitudes of up to 19,685 feet and can cover a distance of 1,553.4 miles on a single fuel refill. As for ground vehicles, Russia has several. There is the Ura 9, designed for long-range reconnaissance and fire support with formidable armaments. Equipped with various weapons and sensors, this robot is intended to enhance the combat effectiveness of infantry squads while offering maximum protection to personnel. 
It supports various tasks performed by counterterrorism, reconnaissance, and military units in urban environments. Russia also has the Marker UGV, which was deployed in the Ukraine conflict. The Marker is armed with machine guns and anti-tank grenade launchers. Its role is to accompany fighter aircraft, marking targets and sending a wealth of information to the fighter pilots. The aircraft will only strike if ground troops have confirmed the target. The Russian UGV Zobilo, sized like a light armored truck, is equipped with front armor protection. The Zubilo can serve as a fire support element for infantry and short-range air defense. The Zubilo robotic vehicle is not limited to battlefield roles. It has several other utilities including ammunition delivery, cargo transportation, casualty evacuation, and providing power for radios and quadcopters.